Counting up hundreds don't work at the bank. No. Hating on me cause you mad that you can't. Okay. Magnetic alone, but this gas make me stink. I know some bitties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor, subscribe, hit that bell notification, come join the team, cause we get in patties over here. Alright, today's video. <sighs> Just went from a good, uplifting mood to some bad news, bruh. You're not ready for her. You're not. You're not. I'm sorry, I'm laughing. I'm sorry. I just, it's funny. Come on. You're like, bro, what you talking about? I'm not ready for I'll be ready. Put the ball ready. I got the flowers on deck. The wine. Massage oil. I bought a panties from Victoria's Secret, bro. What you mean I'm not ready? Well, those would be some of the reasons you're not ready for her. Um, nah, man. Uh, what I mean by you're not ready for her, basically, I'm getting a lot of messages where you guys are giving me paragraphs on the things that you're doing, the you know responses that you're getting from these women, and the majority of the time, the responses are dry. You know, she's being cold. She's not entertaining you like you want her to entertain you or how she should. And how she should entertain you, bruh, is flooding you with messages, hitting you up all the time. What are you doing? Da -da -da -da. How come you're not responding? Da -da -da -da. Just constant barrage of messages hounding you. And instead, it's the other way around. You over here checking up on her, making sure she's good, overthinking to yourself. You know, you might even be implementing the no contact, but the no contact isn't working because you're over here stressing yourself out, wondering if it's working. Like bro, the no contact rule does not mean no contact and then she contacts you and then everything's gonna work. During the no contact, you need to be in a good mental and emotional space, right? You have to be okay with her being out there. You know what I mean? Doing whatever she's doing. Not even worried about if she's gonna hit you up or not. It shouldn't matter. But right now, it matters a lot. It matters a lot to you and I can tell. And not even, you know, doing no contact. This could be you guys are in a situation, you're in a relationship, and you're very insecure. You're always questioning yourself, you're questioning her, you're doubting everything about the relationship. This is a huge sign that you're not ready to be in it. You have to get to a place where you're, you're secure with yourself, you know, you're confident, you're focused, you know, because a lot of times we get into relationships for the wrong reasons. And one of those reasons or a couple of those reasons is because it can help distract you from what you're not getting done in your life. You know what I'm saying? It can help uh, just be a, uh, you could basically use her as someone that motivates you. Yeah, it's great to have a woman that motivates you, but it shouldn't be she's the only motivation that you got. You have to have that self intrinsic motivation. You know what I'm saying? Because if you think, oh, oh, bro, she got me. She motivating me. I can't lose her. She mo That's not it. She's supposed to be adding. She's supposed to be stopping and on top of your motivation that you've already got for yourself. Because the second you lose her, second you lose her, what you gonna do now? You ain't got no motivation, you're deflated. She was just steroids. Now you stop taking it, she was like the Limitless pill. Y'all seen the Limitless movie? Y'all popping the pill, everything Gucci. You run low on supply, done for, you're done for. You start getting sick, you start, oh my God. <laughs> Not feeling good, Prep. cry, wow, where she go? Stock of the Instagram. <laughs> oh, is that another dude? She motivate? That booty will motivate anybody. That booty will motivate a bum. Damn, I'm a bum right now. What a tissue. <sighs> nah, but for real, man, you need to take a good, good, solid look at your life before you enter somebody else's life. Because the second you enter somebody else's life, it should only be to benefit you. And the second you enter somebody else's life, you are going to be affected by their energy. So if that person's not right for you, she's not ready for you. And you're not ready for her because you're not ready to be worried about all of her problems. Like let's say there's a girl out there, you're feeling her. And then she comes to you and she's just got all this baggage that she's dealing with and all these problems. I understand if you're already talking to somebody and they're going through stuff. I'm not saying don't be there for somebody. You should always be there for somebody because you've already established that level of, you know, love, I guess you could say. Uh, 
<laughs> for them that that immense amount of caring if you don't like to use the word love okay um for that person so you're able to manage it and it doesn't affect you as much but if it's somebody that you just met you just started talking to them and then they start telling you about all oh, that this and that they haven't handled it themselves they haven't done the work okay the the work they need to do to be good for you and it goes vice versa you know what i'm saying if you have all this baggage and emotional scarring you need to heal first you know you need to be okay before you just go throw that on somebody else because that's not fair to you or them so don't be that dude you know and i'm i'm saying that because i've been there you know i deal with a lot of you know stuff in life just like everybody and sometimes instead of handling it i try to put it on somebody else or i try to use people or women as band-aids you know what i mean to cover up or to fill voids that i haven't been man enough to freaking go work on myself to take the time to really do that inner work that's what you need to do so right now I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be in a relationship because I still got work to do. And it's okay to look in the mirror and be like, hey, I need to do some work with myself. I know we get stuck on Instagram. I know we looking at everybody's perfect life and we're thinking, damn, I have to be okay. I have to be there. Their life is perfect, right? No, it's not. It's what they want you to see, right? It's an illusion. It's the highlights of their life. They're sitting there scrolling too, looking at somebody else doing better than them. Like, damn, I should be there. So don't compare yourself, first of all, to other people. Because the reality of the situation is we're all gonna rise, we're all gonna fall. But RIP Nipsey, he said it best. Never let a hard time humble us. Never! You know what I mean? You can learn from the hard time, but you also have to have that confidence to keep persevering and work through it. That example, I don't know if that kind of went with what I was trying to get at, but I think you get what I'm saying, I hope you do. But anyways, you gotta face your demons, you gotta fight them, and you gotta be whole. That's where I'm going with it, you gotta be whole. If you think you ain't got no problems, guess what? I'm here to break it to you, you do. Because if you hit me up asking me a million and one questions, you're probably not all there. Because if you were all there, you wouldn't have as many questions. Right, we're all gonna have questions, we're all gonna wanna learn and know certain things, which I still do to this day. So I'm not here like, you don't know it all? What's wrong with, like, I don't know it all either. I'm learning as I go through life. But what I'm saying is, if you have exponential amount of questions, that means you have a lot of work before you're ready. If you have like a few questions like, hey bro, I was on a date with this girl and this happened, da 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 da, what should I do? I get it. But if it's like, hey bro, so I met this girl and then I, she did this and then I was like, should I do that? And then she went over here, there's this guy and then that guy and then there was another guy and then it was like, there's like the, her sister came through the pop up. There's too much going on. <laughs> it's too messy. Um, yeah. Uh, let me know if you guys get what I'm saying. If you guys um, feel like you got stuff to work on. And you know, this is an open forum down below in the comments. If you guys feel comfortable. Be like, hey, I need to work on this before I get with a woman because once I do, it's gonna be better than ever, you know? And the best part about this is that once you actually get all those things done personally, you're gonna start attracting higher quality women. You're gonna start attracting easily the women that you thought you could never have. The super, super, super baddies. And then you're gonna realize they ain't even on your level. You're gonna be like, I was pining over her? Come on now. Uh, get off of me, keep your six feet. I know it might sound crazy cause you're like, Mystic, nah, nah, I'm, I love her, like she the baddest, like come on, why would I ever? You're not ready. All right, you guys, if you liked that video, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button down below, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Um, Also down below, Winning With Women ebook and Magnetic Cologne is almost here, so stay tuned for that. Until next time, focus on you and the women well, two. Counting up hundreds don't work at the bank. No. Hating on me cause you mad that you can't. Okay. Magnetic alone, but this gas make me stink. I know some booties in Cali. They all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas. They all be showing the